Are you looking for a quick dinner tonight? Well, today I'm showing you guys how to make this amazing stuffed bell pepper recipe. This is not your typical stuffed bell pepper recipe. This recipe has flavorful rice, black bean, and let's not forget this amazing ground beef seasoned to perfection. Now this recipe is very customizable. You can make it with chicken, pork, sausage. It's up to you. To top it off, I have this absolutely delicious guacamole to go along with it. Stay tuned and let's dive in. Okay guys, here are the ingredients you will need for today's recipe. I will have them on the screen for you and also it will be in the description box below. So let's begin. First thing first, I am going to start by cutting my bell peppers. Now you can use any type of bell peppers. It doesn't matter what color, as long as it's nice and large, you can stuff it, okay? So I'm going to cut the bottom of the bell peppers. That way they can sit nice and flat. And I cut the top, remove the seeds, and voila, you have your bell peppers nice and ready. Once you're done cutting all of your bell peppers, here's what you're going to do. You're going to place them to a baking dish, bake them for about 15 minutes on 350. While that is baking, we're going to be working on the ground beef. Now I'm not going to throw these away. I'm going to use the remaining of the bell peppers and add them to this dish. Why not, okay? All right, once you're done with that, set that aside. Also, I have my onions nice and chopped as well. So to a skillet, you're going to add about three to four tablespoons of olive oil in there. Make sure it's not hot, okay? Because if you cook ground beef before adding it to a hot pan, it's, it's not good at all. It's gonna start burning. We don't want that. I'm using my wooden spoon to break the ground beef apart. Once it's no longer pink, I am going to add my onions and also the bell peppers we cut earlier. And also these are the seasoning, you guys. I'm using garlic powder, complete seasoning, a little bit of cumin, paprika, ground black pepper, and also some Creole seasoning. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah. Add that in there, give it a mix. And also I'm going to be adding a little bit of sazon because I'm like, mm -mm, I need some color. So I added a little bit of sazon in there. This will definitely take the flavor to a whole nother level, okay? Give that a toss. Now do not drain this ground beef. As you can see, I'm not sure if you saw that. I did not drain it. It still has a little bit of juice. Now I am going to add about one and a half cup of cooked yellow rice. I made this earlier, okay? Yellow rice cooked. And then I'm going to add some black beans cooked, okay? <laughs> Don't add the water. And also we're going to add some cilantro in there, mix it up together. This dish is so colorful, it's so beautiful, and it smells amazing. Okay, give that a stir. Mm -mm -mm -mm. It smells so good already. Now, what you're going to do, you're going to add in some more cilantro and then you're going to grab your bell peppers out of the oven and then we're going to stuff them. Now you can eat this by itself, okay? This is a full course meal right there by itself. But you know, we're trying to make some stuff, bell peppers or whatever. So we're going to add in the ground beef, then a little bit of cheese, and then we're going to add some more of that ground beef. It looks so good, so colorful, I love it. And then we're going to add another layer of that cheese right on top.
Now, you can easily stuff six peppers with this ground beef, like it's enough for about six or more peppers, depends on how much you add to the peppers, but I only use three, I save the rest for later. Now, once I'm done stuffing all of my peppers, I am going to bake it again for about 15 to 20 minutes for the cheese to be nice and melted. While that is baking, I am going to be making my homemade guacamole. Now, to make the guacamole, you're going to cut your avocado in half, remove the seed, and just grab a spoon, scoop it out, place it to a bowl, just like so. Fun fact, I love avocados. I can eat it with pretty much anything, okay? I don't know, maybe it's the Haitian in me, but this is one of my favorite things to eat. All right, so now I'm using a fork to break the avocado down. Now you can make this as chunky or as smooth as you like. Now I am going to be adding my onions and tomatoes. Make sure to finely chop these because it looks better and it feels better in the mouth, okay? Now I'm also going to be adding some jalapenos. Be sure to remove the seeds. I'm adding some finely chopped garlic, one clove, okay? And some cilantro. Then I am also going to be adding salt and pepper a little bit of lime juice, mix it up, and there it is, so easy, so fresh and delicious guacamole, okay? The peppers are nice and done the cheese is melted and you cannot eat this meal without a side of sour cream so I added some sour cream on the side now this is giving me chipotle vibe but gourmet it's so 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 yummy and it looks so beautiful in the eyes this is giving me summer vibe food but you know you can eat it anytime it's just so colorful And you already know, I had to try this food on camera for you. It was so bomb. This is my favorite part. Let's try this food and see what it's giving. All right, I have the guacamole on there. I have the sour cream on there and a little bit of everything. Okay, let's give it a try. Mmm. What's good about this recipe, you can customize it, you can add or take out something. It's so easy to put together. Oh my God, so good. This recipe is given Chipotle, but gourmet. And of course, big flavors. <laughs> Let me know down below, what do you think about this recipe? Also, don't forget to give it a like for me. I appreciate you guys for watching today and I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.